So I've written a uh, collection of stories. There's six stories. Um, each one is about a 20th century dictator um, when they were an adolescent. So we have Hitler, Stalin, Pol Pot, Idi Amin, Mao Zedong, and Trujillo from the Dominican Republic. Um, these are historical fictions, so they're all based on pretty extensive research, and they're all plausible, I would say, that they're suggested by real things that happen in their biographies, but uh, there's plenty that's invented. So I'm going to read tonight a little bit from the story uh, about Rafael Trujillo. Um, <clears throat> the least, probably the least known, the story's called Bottle Cap, uh, probably the least known unless you happen to be from the Dominican Republic and then he, you know him very, very well. Um, he was a, uh, in complete control of the island for 30 years and was absolutely ruthless. He has a collection of bottle caps that he's stacking on his... Um, ledge, his window ledge, and as you'll see, he's a very ritualistic person. He cares very deeply about these bottle caps, and they have particular order. He piles the bottle caps he's gathered on the sill and pulls back the bed so he can access the few strays that have slipped to the floor against the wall. These two he stacks. The spasms in his belly are so painful now that he feels like throwing up. He surveys his work. The sight of all these distinct brands piled together willy-nilly without respect to coloring or condition, without accounting for dates and places of discovery, and most importantly, not stacked in proper towers of ten, weakens his knees and forces him to sit on the bed. His thoughts spiral into a familiar looping pattern of if-then statements. If you don't separate the multinutrients, then the tumor will grow a tumor per day. If you don't stack the daisies bottom to top from least to most faded, then the tumor will snuff out your ability to breathe, and so on and so forth. Raphael uses his weight to push the bed back against the wall. He knows his family is waiting for him at the dinner table. He doesn't have time to stack the bottle caps in their correct groups, but he wonders if he can't at least separate them from this single unholy clash of types, origins, and colors. Yes, there's time enough for that. He wipes his brow with his sleeve and focus on, focuses on his task. As Raphael works, he begins to calm down. His breath slows, and his legs regain some of their lost strength. His hands work quickly, stacking and aligning bottle caps. Order rises from chaos before him. Yes, Raphael is man enough to handle any bad omen. Rafi, his mother calls, are you coming? One moment, 